It would be annoying if I got hit. Uh, I guess I don't need the pure water actually now. Because the druids are both going left. Oh well. Uh, hmm. Uh, hmm. I want Faye to kill the hero, uh, the warrior, so let's see. He's got six movement. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, attack. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, attack. He doesn't double Fey, right? 13 speed to 11? Yeah, so he doesn't double Fey anyway. I might just end up using another use of Divine Stone that I didn't mean to do. Okay. Right. Drids. Are you Flux? No, you're Nosferatu. Okay. Huh. How do I make sure that you die? I guess it's with Alan. No, oh, because Alan doesn't double. Hmm. Thea first? Yeah, Thea first, then he'll be down at least 14 HP, so I can kill with someone with a heavy hit. Then I need to either rescue or kill. So, let's do Sue first. Uh, no, she can't hit from there. Uh, I can't actually attack from longbow range. Because I put Alan in the wrong place. Oh, okay. Well, to be fair, Sue is probably more useful. Yeah, if she can't double them, there's no point. I'll give it a go. Why not? No crits. Yep, she got hit. Kind of expecting that. No crits again. So 18. That should be enough for Zeiss to kill. Yeah. Please don't miss. Thank you. Oh. Another level. Could do with some speed, Zeiss. Need some speed. Hey, we have our very first person with maxed out strength. I'm pretty sure at least. Yeah, nobody else is even close. Alright. If I need someone to die, or at least get a heavy hit, I can do Zeiss. Okay, so, this guy has Flux. Uh, Alan didn't double. So, let's try... The, uh... To be fair, I can... Oh, I can't heal now. Damn, okay. That's more of a problem. Hmm. Let's see. Break through the wall. Attack with Alina. No, actually, it's... Um, what's better? 13 speed. 8 speed. So, 13 speed to 8 speed is... 5. So, she... Doubles. She goes 23. On 10... So 13, she just about... No, she doesn't kill because of the weapon disadvantage. I guess I'll just do Melody instead. Ooh, we need to worry about the Swordmaster. Swordmaster, 18 speed. Hang on, 18 speed get weighed down? No. 18 speed means gets doubled 15... Defense goes down to seven. Seven times two is fourteen. Potential for a crit on both. Ugh. All right, I think I dance for Lelina because Melody doesn't want to be at lower HP. So we attack from range and then kill the shaman. Yeah. Hellfire and Air Calibre don't do it because of the weapon disadvantage. 
70, 80. I guess we do 80. <sighs> okay. So Melody can kill now. I'm pretty sure. But she will get doubled by the Swordmaster. Alright, we need to protect Sue. So what's the plan? You doesn't double. Delpho doesn't kill without a crit. Neither does Roy. Oh no, Roy does kill. Alright, that's easy then. Thank you, Roy. That extra two, eight, uh, two strength coming in handy. Um, yeah, I think this is safer to do. So rescue here. Take and drop. Stay there. Uh, we can have you go near the wall because we can attack from range. Alright, so who's going to get hit? Belina, you, Roy. Everyone survives a hit. Yes, Pimsy? Okie dokie. Yes, I'll be able to lock the door and put the dips in the fridge. We had chips in the dips. I love you too, Pimsy. Dom dom dom. Good night. Uh, Pimsy says good night, everyone. So, the warrior went for Rutka. Interesting. Okay, so. Bay should be able to kill the warrior. Please get some speed. Get some full level, good. Speed, please. Yeah, there we go. She's turned out to be a, a good combat unit. She's a good uh, problem solver. Okay. So, there's the Swordmaster. Let's see, how do we do? Six times two, so I have to potentially think about 18, because it's a killing edge. And 63% chance to hit is uh, very high. Uh, right. So we do this from longbow range because we can. Good. And then, oh, he does reach. Maybe does Roy. Alan can reach. Yeah, okay. So, attack from range. Right, let's do it this way. Yeah. Air caliber first. Best. Um, then. I've not thought about what happens if everyone misses. Because that would be a problem. In fact, if everyone misses, I want to make sure that I can survive. Let's see. Well, I know, I know Melody can survive two crits, because it was six times two. So, 18 times two is 36, so she survives. Uh, so, let's rescue Lelina. Wait. There, we will dance the melody. I should probably have moved melody one space in and then dance for her. That'd be fine. So, kill a lance. Uh, drop Lulina there. Keep melody there. So then, let's see. Again, Alan can survive two crits, I'm pretty sure. So 6 times 2, again, 18, 61, 71. So we put Alan here with Killer Lance. 
And then we put Q behind, because he can attack from range. Nobody else can hit people. So that's safe to do. Uh, does anybody need healing, really? Uh, maybe Thea, but she's not getting hit this turn, so I'll not do it just yet. In fact, I'll probably keep Saul where he is. Here. Next, right, so wait. See how it goes. Goes Melody. Nice! Alright, problem solved. Okay. So now we just take out the boss. So I do want to get Faye to get the experience, so I need to, to get up there. So it'll probably take a few more turns yet, but it's worth doing. This guy has a spear. Dun. Do, 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 do. See, this is the the point of the map that takes a lot of time when it really shouldn't. It's because the map's basically over. The game's won. I just need to do it in the way that is most effective, I guess. Um, and speaking of, I should probably be taking some people to go left. Where can Laram go? Laram can go here. Let's send Melody to the left and break over the wall. Alright, so then that should be one more turn to break. So Faye moves up. Right, I don't think Rutger can touch Tick, really. 17 defense. So 17 defense on 13 attack. Yeah, I don't think that's going to matter whatever weapon I use. So. But we will rescue Faye to bring her closer. And then we can dance. Mm -hmm. Da, 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 da. Okay, so how does Lelina do with Tick? So he's got 20 strength. So he does 30. 12 speed, so no doubling. Uh, we've got 4 defense. So we should survive. I'm pretty sure. He only does 3 damage though. Hang on, how much resistance? He's got 15 resistance. Um, hmm. I didn't think about that. I might need better weapons than what I've got currently available to me. Like, Astolfo's not doing anything. Theo's not doing anything. You, maybe? On 16? The 15? I don't have a an Armor Slayer Lance. Heavy Lance. Is that even in this game? I don't think I remember ever seeing uh, Heavy Lance. So we've got Alan that can try it on 35. Uh, 35 accuracy. Yeah, it's not great. How much do you do with a Javelin? Three, okay. All right, well, it's worth it to see how much damage we can do when attacking from range. So let's do this. No, this is a nightmare. How did you get through those walls? With perseverance, boss fight time. Well, it's spend 15 turns trying to hit the boss time, I think. Because I can't attack from either side of him. So there's only three possible, sp well, one, two, three, four possible spaces to hit him with, functionally, because longbow is not gonna do anything. Um, so yeah. Not much I can do. But I do need to bring Saul closer, actually, now that I think about it. Like, 25% chance to hit. I got very lucky with that. 
but it's still not great. Alright, how much does Hugh do? Hugh does one damage and has a 2% chance of getting crit. No thank you. Uh, 3 to 26. Okay. But what if Roy was closer? It goes to 6. Alright, that is a big jump. In accuracy, at least, yeah. Okay, so I think this is doable keeping Lilina there. So, Rutger can move across. And Thor can go here. Get the to rescue. Dance. And then we give, wait, and we drop. Okay. And phase here as well. Yeah. So maybe I should have thought more about supports and so on, but that would have to also be um, me figuring out who can actually support with people that are left. Oh, he can go, he's got C lances now. He can use killer lances. Great. Okay. That is actually very handy for him. Uh, I'll give him... There's a, there's a killer lance somewhere. That's got 20 uses. Where is it? Oh, Roy's got it. Oh, Roy's got 9 use one. Why does Roy have it? Oh, there's a brave lance there as well, actually. Well, I can't use the brave lance. Anyway. So, killer lance on Roy. Uh... Alan's got one. Yeah, kill Lance on Roy. Okay. Take that off him. We might be able to use it against the boss. Because again, 20 strength, pretty good. Uh, just move Alan to the side. And now we spend a lot of turns. Uh, have Roy do his jab jare. Oh wait, Roy doesn't have his legendary weapon yet. Yeah, yeah. Um, I do like in Smash Bros that you can literally have Roy do jab to forward smash as a true combo. And it's like, that shouldn't work. And yet it does. It's kind of astounding because I'm pretty sure no other characters in the game, well, maybe Krom as well, uh, but no other characters in the game have jab to forward smash as a true combo. Uh, it seems ridiculous. And it's a true combo that kills at the ledge as well, so... Alright, let's see. They can two-shot the boss. Wow. Okay. How about Zeiss? Zeiss doesn't do too badly. You know? But the problem is, his luck is too low for me to even attempt it. Because I need to keep Zeiss alive. Um, to do this, the last guide in chapter before the final one. So, ooh, I did not know Roy does that much. Okay, where's Lauren? Oh, she's all the way down there. Well, I'm gonna give this a go. There's 19, yeah. Saving the rapier use has come in uh, handy for once. Okay, so I think what I do... Yeah, I have to heal Roy now. Or at least move him away. So, Faye has... Let's see, what was it, 22? Yeah. One more turn of combat with Roy will do it, though. So we're going to... Let's just heal him, actually. I don't need to use Physic. Heal up Roy. He'll get like 30 HP now. Yeah, close enough. Um, he's got 6 con. Yeah. So, rescue. And take. And drop. And move Dice down. Move Melina down. Uh, move Faye up. Uh, all right. Well, I think Roy might actually be able to help Faye kill next turn. Nice. There we go. Definitely possible. 
Okay, never mind. Faye doesn't get the experience. <laughs> you have bested us. You may pass. But you will know Burn's true power soon. Alright, well, that wasn't quite how I wanted that to go. But can't complain. So why isn't the happy music playing? Is it literally because there's more people on the map? Let's see, what my uh what what's the actual goal? Seize throne, okay. Well I can just do that, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Seize the throne! It's here! The lance is here! This is Barrigan's Lance Maltet. It's beautiful, as if it was made of ice. Lord Roy, Burns troops are fleeing. Good, let them go. Let them go? We must attack. No, don't. We've already won. They don't want to fight us. But they all have lives and families. There's no need to take that away from them. We have the Maltets. Princess Guinevere, the attack on Burn will commence soon. So may I ask the rest of the story? You said King Zephyr was an outstanding pupil in everything he did. It sounded. It sounds like he would have been an ideal heir to the throne. Yes, I have no doubt. But still your father never looked kindly at him. In truth, our father began to despise Zephyr precisely because of his talent. Why would a father resent his own son's talent? Our father was a man of unextraordinary skill and intellect. Zephyr's outstanding talents made our father colder towards him. He was envious. He went as far as to tell Zephyr they would never inherit Burn. He said that instead the throne would go to my future husband. His own father told him that? What a heartless man. But Zephyr held strong. He always said he never cared about inheriting the throne. But the people of Bern knew of Zephyr's genius and wanted him king. Pressured by the public, our father lost his patience at last. That's when he decided to kill Zephyr. Our father gave Zephyr a goblet full of poisoned drink at a banquet. That was the first and last time Zephyr ever accepted a drink from our father. After returning to his room, Zephyr began to fall dreadfully ill. For ten days and nights, Zephyr lingered between life and death. But Murdoch, Zephyr's teacher and loyal general, saved his life. The old king made no further attempts on his life? No, at least not to completion. I have heard that he schemed to have Murdoch and uh, Zephyr's mother killed. He was scheming to murder everyone connected to Zephyr. Upon learning of our father's intentions, Zephyr feigned death. At his funeral service, our father leaned over the coffin to view Zephyr's body. It was at that moment that Zephyr sprung from the coffin and, sword in hand, stabbed him. I was but a child then, so naturally I could not understand what was going on. All I knew at the time is that our father died and Zephyr never smiled again. Before then, he was stern at times, but always a kind and loving brother. But after everything that happened, Princess. I knew that someday I may have to act against him. I see. Zephyr is so far gone now, he will never listen to anything I say. Roy, please, you must stop him. Stop him from destroying Burn and from destroying your leave. Such a feat will never uh, will likely require my blade. And you still ask such a thing of me. I trust your judgment. Do what you must. You have my word, Princess Guinevere. I swear by the Fire Emblem that I will stop King Zephyr. Alright, that's definitely getting towards endgame stuff. Two times crits, Roy's our boy. <laughs> Roy's so caring and was born lucky with having a cool dad like Elliewood. Surprisingly enough, I think there are people that don't really like Elliewood at all. And I think part of that is because they played Fire Emblem 6 first. And they're obviously comparing Elliewood to Roy. But a part of it as well is like he's a bit kind of wimpy and he's not a great uh unit in the game either so but i will that is chapter 20x the blizzard spear complete so let us move on to chapter 21 the binding blade after surviving many hardships roy finally sets foot on burned soil guinevere guides roy to the shrine of seals in their way stands Murdoch, the brilliant and stalwart head of the Wyvern Generals. Etroia and Burn, the two greatest forces on the continent, begin direct warfare. The sun rises as the bloodiest day in the history of Elib dawns. Alright. So, I am just double checking what I need to do for this map. I need to complete it within 30 turns and Melody and Zeiss must be alive. Okay, and I'm pretty sure this map also has a secret shop. And the secret shop is here. And that's where you can buy a whole ton of stat boosters. So we are definitely doing that. I actually already prepared for that because I sold a lot of items that I didn't really need. Also, I've got a lot of units. That is more units than I have ever had on any map ever. 
like I'm using it's it's bringing up fur who's level three. Okay. All right. So let's have a look at the map. Uh, we've got Wyvern Lords with Silver Lancers. Okay. Uh, we've got Manakets on the map as well. Okay. We have Murdoch with a Knight Crest to steal. So that's important. Uh, 12 speed. Do I actually have a second thief that has 12 speed? I do. All right. Okay. Cool. So a Stolfo can be an attack unit then. We've got more Wyvern Lords. Uh, we've got Divine. That's actually just... So we're surveying the map. Uh, do you have a Bolton? Yes, you do. Okay. So, according to certain wiki pages, there are, like, lines on the map where reinforcements are triggered by. So I have to keep an eye on that. Um, so we've got Bolting. We've got Horse Slayer. Horse Slayer, but they're at the boss. That's fine. Uh, we've got Longbows. Okay. There's no Ballistas on the map, is there? Not that I can see. No. Okay, so no Ballista. Uh, so, Silver Lance on the Wyvern Lord. Killer Lance on the Wyvern Rider. Steel Lance Javelin. Silver Lance on the Wyvern Lord. Killer Lance on the Wyvern Rider. Steel Lance and Javelin. So there's three groups of Wyvern Lords and Riders. There's one Manikit, two Manikit, Bishop, 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 and Sage. Another Sage with Air Calibre. There's the Vaulting guy again. Okay. Alright, let's see how this goes. Uh, I don't know whether I'll be able to play through this map right now. Um, but I can at least prepare for it. Uh, go level three. Uh, never said uh, Elliwood wasn't a good fighter, but he's a good dad. Oh, he's a great dad. He's a very good dad. Yeah. Uh, no, I, he's not bad at being a dad at all. Right. So let's put Malta away. And let's think about what I need to do. Like, do I even bring people? Like, 14 strength is not bad. I can bring a second healer? You know, I've got options, actually. You know what? I think I actually will bring a second healer. So, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. So, this is the main team. I've got three more people to pick from. So, let's bring Ellen. And she can have a heal staff. If she dies, whatever, it doesn't really matter. So she can have... I can give her a mend as well, actually. And the Tina staff. I don't know if the Tina staff is worth it, but um, heal and mend, why not? Uh, Soul can always get another heal. Let's see. Uh, let's get mend. Oh no, uh, I've got um, cover on someone, I think. Let's see. Trade. Who's got Recover? Ah, there we go. Okay. And Warp as well. Okay, that's a, a good, good thing to keep. So. Oh, I also don't have the Hammer and Staff either, so I can't repair weapons. I can only use the weapons that I've got available to me. So, I need Killing Edge, Silver Sword, Steel Sword. Uh, I guess we need to bring an armor slave. Tell you what, bringing Merlinus is actually a good idea. Just to be able to swap weapons around. 